Out of the governor's race here in Massachusetts between Democrat Moore Healy and Republican Jeff Deal. Both spent time today trying to win over last minute voters and shore up their base. So, to kick off our coverage of that race, let's go live to WBZ's Christina Hager. She's at Moore Healy's election night headquarters in Boston. Christina? Yeah, Lisa, the stage is set here at the Fairmont Copley for a big Democratic Party and for Maura Healy herself to watch the results come in after her long fought campaign for the governor's seat here in Massachusetts. We caught up with her earlier today at different stops. She was out and about shaking hands, drawing from her strong background in basketball. She often uses basketball terms to describe her technique as a candidate. She said she's playing right up to the buzzer, right to the end. Nothing is a layup, she said. She also talked about the significance of landing some firsts, potentially. If Healy wins tonight, she would be the first woman voted in as governor of Massachusetts. Together with her running mate, Kim Driscoll, they would be the first all-female ticket, and Healy would be the first openly gay governor if she wins. All this, she says, is important to her. This ticket is historic and representation matters, seeing is believing. And so for any little girl out there or you know, any any young person in the LGBTQ community, I hope that you can see that you can be anything you want to be, and I hope that that serves as a point of inspiration for folks. Healy told us that years ago she never would have imagined herself as a politician, never had seen herself running for any office. She's not only paying attention to her own race tonight, but she says she's also watching those important national races, particularly in battleground states. Here in Massachusetts, this is the hub for the Democrats, and we'll be here with updates as it all unfolds. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBC News.